These Norwegian Jews end the Shabbat with a ceremony in the Oslo synagogue. Outside the fence, a number of Muslims form a human shield in solidarity with the Jews. Only a handful are allowed in for the space concerns, while scores of Muslims and non-Muslims cheer from across the barriers set up for security reasons. With only about 1,500 of them, Jews are a tiny Norwegian minority. There are only two synagogues in Norway, one in Trondheim and one here in Oslo. This event is organized by a group of Norwegian Muslim youths. They formed the so-called peace ring or the human shield around the synagogue after a number of attacks on Jews across Europe. They want to assure the Norwegian Jews that they support them and to tell the world that attacks against Jews are not in the name of Islam. Muslims here say they have not come to apologize for attacks on Jews elsewhere. They say both Muslims and Jews in Europe are victims of hate crimes and should be supporting each other. A day earlier I met Hajra Arshad, a 17 years old college student. She says it is the Islamic teachings of love and respect towards others that motivated her to arrange the event. Uh, it's a lot of Muslims and uh, Jews that are being criticized for, for their religion in Norway and also all around the world and we want to change that and we want people to be proud of uh, what they believe in. Mikhail Gritzman is one of the synagogue board members. He says this initiative by Norwegian Muslims can be exemplary for people around the world. This is a total new dimension that, that young people engage in the way that we have from our young Muslim friends here. I hope that these wonderful youth will drag along others with them here and, and, and other places in Europe. If you start with, with the understanding between peoples, then it can, it can take along a lot of positive things, even in the political arena, but this is not a political place. We are at a place of worship. Critics say any action of solidarity with Jews can be mistaken by some as a support for Israel. Hajra Arshad says it is important that people learn to distinguish the Jews from Israel. I think it's really, really really important that people can distance Israel from Jews because there are Norwegian Jews that are uh, not taking uh, any sides of the politics uh, in Israel. Norwegian Jews and Muslims often meet in several interfaith harmony events, but this is being hailed as a unique event organized by Muslim youths, not belonging to any particular denomination and organization. Rehan Nekvi, Press TV, Oslo.